Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about the best books for beginners learning the piano. There are hundreds of books available for piano and sometimes it's hard to know what to get. So in this video, I'm going to break it into categories so that you don't miss anything. And the categories will be best exercises book, scales book, best sight reading book, best book for children beginners, best book for adult beginners and best theory books. Before we get into this, I just want to say that there are lots of books available and this is just my opinion based on what I've found useful teaching with. However, if you have any experience with books that you think are great, then leave it in the comments because I'm genuinely curious to know what other people use. I will also leave a link to all of the books mentioned in this video in the description so you can go and find them there. So, category number one, exercises book. Now the best exercises book that I find for beginners to use is the Hannon exercises book. It has 60 exercises in this book and they look slightly complicated to start with but once you've got the first bar you have got all of the bars because it just descends in a pan. The second book for exercises I would suggest is the Dozen A Day series. These books are a series of really short pieces and each of them focuses on one technique. So you might have an exercise that is about moving chords or you might have an exercise that's working on jumps. And it's really aimed at beginners to make sure you aren't missing any of the fundamental techniques. There are four books in this series and I believe there is a complete version which I will leave in the description as well. So on to category number two which is best sight reading books. Now there is a series of books called Improve Your Sight Reading and these books are really good for building you through the sight reading from a beginner level to an advanced level. And the good thing about these books is there is a pre-grade one sight reading book which builds up the fundamental technique involved in sight reading. The second book that I would recommend for beginners learning sight reading is the grade one ABRSM sight reading book. Now this is a book that everyone that does the grades tends to get because it has specimen exercises that are for that grade. However, sight reading is all about saturation and getting lots of exercises in and the grade one sight reading book has 55 exercises in that are all the same standard. So you can really get used to that level of sight reading before moving on to the next level. Now the next category is best scales book. The best scales book I would recommend is a book called Scales Boot Camp. This book has all of the scales that you'll need to know in and there are exercises to go with these scales to make sure you really know them. It has all the fingers in there and it breaks it down to a scale scale per page I believe. And the next scale book I would recommend is the book called Scales, Chords, Arpeggios and Cadences. This book is a little bit more advanced, it goes a bit quicker through the process of learning scales, but if you find it easy or you're an adult learner, then this will be a good choice. The next category is best beginner books for adults. So the first book in this category is the book that I use all of the time with my students, and that is It's Never Too Late to Play Piano by Pam Wedgwood. This book starts at the very basics with just one note and helping you count, and then it builds in the rest of the right hand notes, the first five notes, and then the left hand notes separately, and then puts them together. So for any adults that are wanting to start from absolute scratch, this is a really good book to get you on your way. The book does advance quite quickly, so by the time you get to hands together, it does start going at a quicker pace. But for adults who tend to understand musical concepts a little bit easier, this book goes at a pace that will include everything you need to know. The second book that I would suggest for adults is a book called Lessons Book One. This book I don't tend to use that often just because I think the Pam Wedgwood one does a great job but it has lots of pieces in and I find that the pace is slightly quicker than all of the other books which means by the end of the book you've got a lot further and your hands have expanded a lot more on the piano and there is a lot more difficulty involved and this might be something that you are looking for if you've had a go at sight reading and you've had a go at other beginner books. On to the best books for children. Now my go-to book when it comes to teaching children is the Me and My Piano series. Each song in this book has some sort of animal characteristic or name and it has lots of drawings in the book. And this is good for keeping children interested. It also goes at a relatively slow pace, so it adds one note at a time every couple of pages. And this makes sure that you really understand what you're actually playing. The second book I would suggest is a book called Piano Time. This book is a little bit quicker paced, but it is an equally good option and it can cater for many different ages. The last category is Best Theory Books. The first book I would suggest for beginner theory is the Trinity Grade 1 Theory Book. 
The reason that I would suggest this book is because of the way it's laid out. There are lots of exercises in this book and it's more of a workbook than it is just an information book. It tests you as you're going through the book on what you know and what you don't know. And each of the categories is colour coded so that if you are a visual learner, you can associate different colours with different concepts. The second book I would suggest for music theory is the Discovering Music Theory Grade 1 book by ABRSM. This book is quite similar to the Trinity Workbook. There is another series of books called Theory and Practice by ABRSM, which is more information based with a few exercises. Whereas this Discovering Theory series is a much more workbook type series similar to the Trinity version. And I think with theory, especially at the beginning level, the more you have to write, the better you'll remember. As I said at the beginning of this video, these are just my opinions. There are lots of books out there. These are the ones that I just tend to use when teaching. So if you have any other books that you think are great books, leave those in the comments. And if you found this video useful, then leave me a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.